It's open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act. It's a big deal for many of you, and you might not be paying enough attention. This is Healthcare Triage News. Depending on what day of the week it is, the president may be declaring Obamacare a total disaster, a yoke on freedom and success, or just plain dead. None of those things are really true. It's not for lack of trying, though. The administration has been slashing the advertising budgets for the exchanges and navigators, as we've discussed before. They've also been taking the website down for maintenance pretty much every Sunday, which is when, of course, people don't work and have time to look into getting insurance. This has the effect of making it harder to sign up for plans during open enrollment than it has in previous years. When is open enrollment? Right now! Remember, if you get your insurance from your job or Medicare, the VA, you've got nothing to worry about. But if you get your insurance through Medicaid or the exchanges, or if you're uninsured, right now is the one time a year you can go sign up for insurance. Go do it right now. Get on the internet. Go to healthcare.gov. Type in your information and look. Why? Because the vast majority of you could likely get a better deal than you've got right now. Oh, by the way, open up a new tab. Don't, don't shut off the video or anything. Keep watching Healthcare Triage, of course. Even if you have insurance already, you need to shop around. The cost and the details of plans change from year to year. The best bargain last year may not be the best bargain this year. See if you're eligible for subsidies or maybe Medicaid. It's a great deal. And surprisingly, a lot of you have been looking around, which is great. As of the end of last week, more than 600,000 people had selected coverage to the website. That's just who showed up in the first few days. That's actually higher than what we saw at the same time previous years. Whether it's because of news or fear, or look, I just don't know why it's happening, but it's a good sign. It's an even better sign that some are reporting that the number of new enrollees is increasing. More people in the exchanges is a good thing, especially if lots of them are healthy. Still, lots can go wrong. As I said before, they're closing the site on Sundays. Open enrollment is only 45 days this time, compared to 90 days in the past. There are fewer people helping. Why? I have no idea. Again, go shop around. It's worth it. You might get a really good deal. The Kaiser Family Foundation says that most people can find a plan that's cheaper than paying the penalty of the individual mandate. If it's less, why not do that and get insurance? If you're subsidy eligible, then 70% of you can get a better deal than the mandate penalty. More than half of those people can find a bronze plan for free. Yeah, those will have higher deductibles, but it's still better than nothing, right? And while you're at it, be smart. Check to see, as much as you can, if the networks work for you. If the deductibles, co-pays, co-insurance work. How prescription drug coverage works for you. There are always trade-offs and the cheapest plan isn't always the best for you. The deadline to sign up nationally is December 15th. Some states may differ, but why wait? Go check right now, now! We like to make videos on topics that sometimes YouTube doesn't like to sell to advertise. That's all right, because the content matters more than the money. But any support that we get from Patreon.com through viewers like you helps to make the show look good and keep it running on full steam. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz and Joshua Crow, and our Surgeon Admiral Sam. If you'd like to support the show, go to Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage. Or, it's the holidays, look at all the great Healthcare Triage merch we've got, including mugs, posters, lunch pails, and even one of those things that holds the cards you get into your building. And if you'd like to look really smart over the holidays, consider buying my new book, The Bad Food Bible. It'll let you say I told you so to all your friends and family on Thanksgiving.